Hi, my name is Nikki Jagella, and I'm in charge of children's programming at Mary H. Weir Public Library. Today is September 11th, um, known as the National Day of Service and Remembrance, or simply 9-11 Day. Um, today is the day that we remember all those um, who sacrificed on 9-11-2001. So in recognition of this, I'm going to read a story called September Roses by Jeanette Winter. Jeanette Winters writes, at 8.50 a.m. on September 11, 2001, I looked up from my drawing table and saw in the distance an enormous plume of smoke rising high above and beyond the Empire State Building. I soon learned that the smoke covering the city came from the twin towers of the World Trade Center. After a few days, I went to Union Square to be closer to the communal outpouring of anguish in the city. I saw roses and learned how they came to be there. Relying on memory and imagination, I wrote and illustrated September Roses the following spring. As I looked down at the roses, a young man walked to where I stood and told me how they came to be there. Far away in South Africa, he said, across the ocean, over mountains, beyond the desert, two sisters lived together and grew roses. Their greenhouse overflowed with roses of every kind, red roses, pink roses, yellow roses. Roses surrounded their little house and brightened every room. Every night, the sisters worked on designs for their rose display at the flower show far away in New York City. When the designs were finished, they carefully packed 2,400 roses. It was time for the journey. High in the air, the two sisters sat dreaming of their roses. Then the sky turned black. Their airplane landed. There were tears enough to fill an ocean. The sisters sat in the airport with their roses all day and all night. There was no place for them to go. Can I help? I have a place for you to stay. How can we repay this kindness? Please take our roses. We have no use for them now. I know a place for your flowers. The man drove the sisters down through the city to Union Square. Your roses are needed here. The sisters knew what to do. They found an empty space on the grass and set to work. Placing one rose next to another and another, their hands moving quickly. The grass was soon covered with roses. When the sisters stepped back, there lay the fallen towers. My tears fell on the roses. Jeanette Winters writes, The story recorded here is as I had originally envisioned it. I subsequently learned the following specifics. The two women, commercial rose growers in South Africa, came to New York to attend the April Flowers and Floratech Expo USA. The flower show was called off, the hotels were full, and all flights home were canceled. Stranded at LaGuardia Airport with over 2,000 roses, the two women were given lodging by the members of the First United Methodist Church of Flushing, New York, who had come to the airport to offer shelter to those in need. Jeanette Winter lives in New York City.